Now, welcome to another video on vector resolution. Now, in this video, we'll be looking at how you resolve the vectors. Now, the first thing is that, the first case is if you are given something like 60 degree north of east. Let's say you are given 60 degree north of east. What does this mean? Now, see this on the quadrant here. Don't forget that each of these quadrants is 90 degree. So this is 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree. And don't forget we have north, south, east, and we have west here. This is north. This is east. This is south. This is west. Now, they don't say 60 degree north of east. That is the first case. Now, you know that the first thing you should know is that the line you want to draw is between north and east. So this is north and east. Now your 60 degree, they say 60 degree north of east. North of east. Your target is the last one. Your target, whenever you have it to be off, your target is the off. Is the what? The last one. East. North of east. So that means this 60 degree must be from this line to the last point here, which is east. So your target is that it must definitely end at the last statement here. Now, for instance, if you have, if you ask to find 20 degree west of north, 20 degree west of north, you should know that the line is between west and north here. But where will this end? It will end at the last statement here, which is north. So that, don't forget this one is 60 degree here. So the angle will be what? Will be here. Because it is west of north. So it must end at the line of the world of the north. So that's why we have what? We have 20 degree here. So this is the first case. So let me give you another example. If you are asked to find 35 degree, let's say south of east. 35 degree south of east. Now 35 degree south of east, you know. The south of east will be in between south and east. But your angle will end at the what? At the east. So that means we have it to be south of east. So it must end here. It must touch the what? The east here. And that's why this plane will now be what? 35 degree. Like this. According to this. So this is the first case to resolve the vector. Now the second case is let's see how you have north, south, east and west the second case is when you have something like north east north east this case they may not give you an angle to this but once you hear something like this like they will not detach they'll be together north east so that means the line is between north and east and when you have it to be between north and east it's not be of equal angle so each of these will contain angle so that means we have 45 year, 45 year. Each will contain. And don't forget that when you press on your calculator, or better still, when I get to that aspect, I will explain better. Now, the second one is that if you have something like, let's say you have northwest, northwest, they do not detach it. They, you are given together like this, then you are going to have it to be northwest. So this is in between. So because they do not give you angle and they they attach them together like this. Then you have this to be 45 degree, 45 degree here as well. So both will contain angle because they do not detach it together. So that means it is in between. It is at the middle of that quadrant. So that's the second case. Now the third case is that, now this third case is just to complement the first case, north, south, east, and you have west. Now we, I will use the first example here in which you have north of east 60 degree north of east don't forget i said the line will be between north and east but the cord the, the the direction will end at the what at the east here so it must be a 60 degree now if you want to resolve this vector now you are going to have it like this so where there is angle here you have it to be cause and where there is no angle here you have it to be sine so if I want to do the second one, which is 20 degree west of north, 20 degree west of north as well, 
This is west and north. So it will be in between. West of north. So it must end at the what? At the north. So we have 20 here. 20 degree here. So that means if you want to resolve this vector, don't forget, if you want to resolve this vector like this, then this side that does not contain angle, we have it to be sine theta. And this side will contain what? Cos theta. But in the case of where you have 45, 45 here, you can have it to be both to be sine theta, sine theta. Or you have it to be cos theta, cos theta. But it's better you use cos theta, cos theta because of this principle that says anywhere there is angle here, you have it to be theta. So anywhere there is no angle, you have it to be sine. So that wherever you still have angle here, you still have it to be cos and cos. Cos and cos because if you press cos, cos 45 on your calculator, you can see root 2 over 2. And let's press sine 45 as well. It's the same thing. So sine 45 and cos 45, they are the same. So that's why you can have, if it's as equal like this, you can have it to be sine sine or you have it to be cos cos. So it's not better you use it to be cos cos just because... You know, according to this one that only contain one angle, you have the side with angle to be cos and the other side to be what? To be sine. Now, let us go into question. Follow me. Now, in the case whereby you have this first question, let's say you have this first question. The question says, a car solution. A car is driving a distance of 50 meters eastward. Let us see. North, south, east, I have west. Eastward is going 50 meters eastward like this. So this is the direction, 50 meters eastward. It's going like this. And then 30 meters northward. You know, after, after getting to this point, then don't forget this is another one north south east and west so it then move again towards north 30 meter towards north 30 meter that's it and then after reaching this place and then 25 meter in the direction of don't forget we have north south east and west when you get to this place and then 25 meter in the direction of east of north. East of north. That means the distance is between north and east. North and east. But it is east of north. Don't forget how I explained the other time. So that means it must end at what? At north. East of north. It must end at north. And don't forget you are given angle to be what? To be 30 degree. So 30 degree east of north. But towards the direction is taking the direction uh, the distance rather the direction is 25 degree. So it takes the direction of 25 degree uh, 30 degree rather 30 degree east of north 30 degree east of north but the distance is 25 meter distance is 25 meter according to the question and let us resolve this. Now we are asked to find we are asked to draw the diagram this is the diagram and determine the, the total displacements. How will you find the dis displacement? Don't forget displacement deals with distance and the direction. The distance and the direction. So now, because displacement is uh, is also distance, but it has direction with it. Now let us now see. Now you don't have to solve this into x axis and y axis. So let's talk about those distance one after the other. Now let's have the distance. Now into x as is the x component and we have y component. But before we move, the first distance given to us is 50, 50 meter. Now 50 meter. This 50 meter is working towards east. So it does not it's only have the x axis. Don't forget the vertical axis is the y, and the horizontal axis is for x. So this 50 meter is towards x, not towards y. So, because it is towards x, so you only have 50 at the x and you have 0 at the y axis. Now, check the next one. The next one is 30 meter. 30 meter is towards northward. So, this northward is working towards 
the vertical axis. That means the second one is 30 meter is working towards the vertical axis, is not working towards the horizontal axis. So that means the horizontal axis here, because this x is for horizontal and this y is for vertical. Now that shows that for this 30 meter, it only works towards the vertical. It does not, uh, it is not working towards what? It is not working towards horizontal. So that means the horizontal will be zero and the vertical will be 30. And the last one, the last one is 25 meter. But this 25 meter is going like this. We don't know if it's moving towards horizontal or it's moving towards vertical. So that's why we have to resolve this. And if you are resolving this 25, according to what I taught you before, don't forget, according to this, I told you that anywhere there is theta, you take it to be cos, and anywhere there is no theta, you take it to be what? Sine. So that means, if you now want to resolve this one now, you now have, you notice that the theta is at this side. So that means this place will now be 25 here, then, you know, it is cos 30, so the angle. But this side, there is no theta here, so it will now be 25, then sine 30. That will now be the difference. So that means this place, for the vertical axis, this is the vertical axis, but you have to check. The vertical axis, does it fall? Don't forget that if you are having this, we have plus y here, we have minus y here. We have plus x here, and we have minus x here. Now, if you check the y axis here, sorry, the horizontal first, the horizontal component of this is towards this side. Now, if you check this quadrant very well, is it towards positive x or negative x? And as you can see, this horizontal is towards positive x. So that's why it should be plus. And that will be 25 sine 30. 25 sine 30. And don't forget the vertical here. The vertical component here, is it towards the positive y or negative y? And as you can see, is at the top, is at the positive y. And that is why this one will also be 25 cos 30. Now let us find the summation of all these. And let us press on the calculator. If we press this on the calculator, let's sum all this together. We have 50 plus 0, then plus 25 sine 30. Press the cos to. As you can see, you have this to be 62.5 to be summation x. Summation x is 62.5. Then press AC. Then let's sum y together. We have 0 plus 30 plus 25 cos 30. Close the bracket. Press the cos to. As you can see, this one is 51.65. 51.65. Now, if you don't want to find the the, 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 the resultant, the resultant will now be square root of summation y, summation x, all square, then to bracket summation y, all square. This is the resultant of this vector. So it will now be square root of, into bracket, summation x is 62.5 all square plus the second which is 51.65 all square now let us press this on the calculator let's press it on the calculator what's your answer let me give you the time to press that now if you are yet to press this let us press it together now if you want to press this you press on your calculator we'll have come to this Sorry, don't forget. We have this to be square root of into bracket 62.5 plus bracket square plus into bracket 51.65 plus bracket square. The press, sorry, press equals to. As you can see, you have the answer here to be 81.1. 81.1 meter. This is the distance covered. This is distance covered. Now, you cannot find the distance alone because they ask us to find the displacement. Displacement is distance, but to a direction. Now, we find the direction. The formula says 
theta is equal to tan inverse of summation y over summation x. So this is the formula to be used. Then theta will now be tan inverse of what's your summation y here? Summation y is 51.65 all over summation x, which is 62.5. Let's break it. So our theta will now be let's press on the calculator. Don't forget theta will now be tan inverse, which is shift tan. Press this. You have 51.65. Then come to your denominator. We have 62.5. Now come to this space, close the bracket, and press the equals to. As you can see, that the answer here is 39.57 degree. 39.57 degree. That is the answer. Now that is the answer to the first question. Now this is how to solve this kind of question. Let's go to the second question. Now the que second question says, a Ica begins a trip by force walking, by force walking 2,500 meters southeast. Now, don't forget, we have this to be let me start here. We have north, south, east, and we have west. West. They said it begins the trip by walking 2,500 meters southeast. Southeast. You know, I told you that if you have something like this, you can see that they did not even give you the what? The angle between them. Because they wrote them together. That shows that this place is 45 degree. This is also 45 degree. Now, this is what I was telling you when I started this class. When I was trying to explain this aspect that this case, whenever you are given together, it will be 45, 45. Now, it's now your decision to make it to be sine or cos when you are resolving it. Because, and I prove it to you that sine 45 is 1 and cos 45 is also what? 1. That is why. Now, it begins the trip like this. And don't forget, this is 2,500 meter. It comes like this, southeast. From a base. On the second day, now that means this is coming from the first day. On the second day, it begins the walk in the direction. So don't forget, when it gets to this, we have another point. We have north, south, east, and west. On the second day, she walks 4,000 4, meters in the direction of 75 degree north of east. North of east. That means it's in between this. We have north of east. I told you that if it's not of east like that, that means it's going to end at the last statement. And the last statement here is not of east. So that means it's going to end at the east here. Not of east. So that means where you are going to have your direction, your angle is at this place. Not of it, east. So that means it must end at the what? At the east here. But don't forget the, the distance here is 4,000. So it works 4,000 meter north 